Well, hello again from Sunshine in Melbourne, everybody. We're again, we're fairly light staffed, but uh, we have everybody working from home right now, making sure that you, our dealers and our customers, have the machines and the service that you need. With me today, I have Alan Hill, who's our Director of After Sales, and he's gonna give you some further information on what we're doing to support um, technical and, and parts problems as they come up. But business is uh, still ticking along here in Australia. Um, the outlook still is quite positive for the farmers here. Uh, New Zealand has obviously ch made a change to uh, level three, uh, effective next Tuesday. And we're hoping that that will open up the business for the farmers to get their uh, support service and uh, any technical uh, issues that they have open that we can get closed off in the next week. So I'll hand over to Alan to give you a bit of an update on what we're doing from a technical support and parts perspective. Alan. Thanks Warwick. Uh, yes, it is different times. We know what we're working through at the moment, but uh, we are fully equipped here at Agco Australia and in New Zealand. We have the systems and the processes in place to help the dealers and the customers during these challenging times. One way we can do this is through Tech Connect. This is an initiative that was started as a global database which gives our dealers a wealth of information at their fingertips at any time. We're also providing online training modules to ensure our dealers are up to date with the latest information. And these systems are supported by our internal and external technical support staff who are working closely with our dealers and in conjunction with our seven warehouses across Australia and New Zealand that remain fully functional. And I'd like to add, there's been no disruption to the level of service to date. And moving on to the parts side of the business, we are using similar systems and processes which is supported by our parts customer service team, ensuring we're able to supply critical parts to our farmers to keep them working. So thanks, Alan, for that update. I'd just like to finish by saying, uh, pleasing to advise you that our factories are getting back underway in Europe uh, this week and next week been a lot of discussion about lockdown in Germany and France and Italy, and I'm sure you've seen it all on the news anyway. Um, but the good news is that the supply base is starting to kick off, and uh, many of our factories are actually opening this week, with the majority of them coming back online next week. It will be in a limited capacity uh, as they get up to speed again, but uh, very pleasing that those guys have uh, worked hard, sanitised the factories, put a lot of things in place to make sure that everyone's safe. Um, but up and running uh, so we can look forward to our springtime and, and having the machines we need for our spring here in Australia and New Zealand. So thank you very much, happy farming and uh, good luck out there in dealer land. <laughs>